Hey gang, welcome to Ask Mark, our scuba diving Q&A, where I do my best to answer your scuba diving questions. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions that you're, you're worried about, you're not sure on something, you want my opinion on something, then pop them down in the comments section underneath this video. If you use the Ask Mark hashtag, it gets yourself and your question featured in an upcoming show. Uh, but in the meantime, I do like to write an actual response so you do get a, uh, an answer as soon as possible. Today, I'm answering a question from Alberto R about weight belts and crunch straps. Alberto says, hi Mark, great content. Thank you, you're welcome. On a DIR configuration backplate and wing, where do you recommend the weight belt? On top of the crotch strap or below? Meaning to say the first thing on or the last thing on, thanks. So should your weight belt go over the top of your crotch strap or should it go underneath your crotch strap? It should go underneath your crotch strap. And there are some benefits to having it this way. I know it seems counterintuitive. The first thing being that if there's a malfunction with your quick release of your weight belt, then your crotch strap may actually catch the weight belt so you don't lose it completely and lose your buoyancy. If you need to ditch intentionally your weight belt, then you can pull it free from one side. You can kind of undo that and your waistband to unhook your crotch strap if it's caught on something or you can actually cut the crotch strap free if you're really entangled and you need to ditch your lead. But it's one of those things where in like a DIR configuration with a crotch strap, it's they're more worried about like failure points. And one failure point is a quick release mechanism because if it accidentally releases, for whatever reason, if you're swimming over something and that strap just happens to get caught on it and it yanks that buckle open, if your weight belt slips off, at least there's a chance of your crotch strap actually catching it and then you can sort it out then and there without having to like, well now you're positively buoyant so you have to adjust your buoyancy. Uh, you have to see if you can manage to get down at that point and then put your weight belt back on. However, putting it over the top of the crotch strap, one, it's a bit of a pain because if you don't have hips, like a lot of divers, then it kind of has to go below your waistband, which puts it quite wide on some divers' hips. So then your waist belt, oh sorry, your, your weight belt doesn't stand or sit quite in the right place. And again, if it does unintentionally open, it's just gone. So yeah, when I'm, when I'm getting kitted up, Wetsuit, dry suit, whatever it is, that goes on. Uh, I organize all of my equipment. So I organize my mask, my fins, my BCD, my regulators and stuff. Then I put my weight belt on, make sure that's nice and secure exactly where I want it. Then I put my BCD on and the crotch strap goes over the top. Then I sort my regulators out. So it's all like holding it in place. And yeah, there is a chance that if you do need to ditch it, for whatever reason that yeah you then have to thread it underneath your crotch strap um, but there are ways around it you can undo your other quick release uh, so like waistband un undo that crotch strap should you need to and then take the waist belt out or you can cut the uh, the crotch strap if you really need to just get your dive knife and cut that free but yeah chances of you needing to like instantly take your weight belt off and get rid of it as soon as possible. Unusual, especially at that kind of level because you should be like as neutrally buoyant as possible uh, so that you, your gear, you, you don't require too much lead um, on a weight belt so that, yeah, if you do need to ditch some lead, you're only ditching a little bit of lead just to be able to create a bit of positive buoyancy. Um, but yeah, it is a good question. And um, yeah, it would go underneath the crotch strap. So it's the first thing that goes on. A controversial subject in uh, weight belts because a lot of like recreational divers are moving more towards integrated weight pockets. So it's all in your BCD, uh, which has pros and cons of itself, uh, mainly in that moving your BCD around is now incredibly hard. Whereas if you have a separate weight belt, you move your BCD, which already has the cylinder attached onto it, that's heavy enough. Now you have to do the do it with integrated weight. So you've got the weight inside of your BCD, trying to pass that up out of the water. You see the poor boat handler wince. So yeah, whether you release both mechanisms, you should really hand your weights up first just to help them out. Um, 
But yeah, if you do have a, a crotch strap, ideally your weight belt should go underneath. Uh, good question. Uh, if you have any scuba diving questions, pop them down in the comment section underneath this video. And if you use the Ask Mark hashtag, what it does is basically it filters it to one side in the back end of YouTube. So you might not see it post um, immediately, but all I have to do is just accept it. Uh, I answer it then and there as soon as I uh, accept it and then it adds it to a list so that I can do a video on it later. Uh, yeah, remember to head over to our website, scubadivermag.com. Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.